Ready, set, go. Okay. Welcome to Far From Noise is the name of this game. This is very pretty. This is very pretty looking. I like the colors. Okay. Uh, this one is about having a conversation on the edge of a cliff. That's all I know about it. Let's get started. Having a conversation on a cliff. Ooh. Okay, wow, we are really on the edge of a cliff. Hello? Hello? Oh, this is precarious. H Hello? Hello? Uh, could anyone maybe... Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, right. Okay, just, you just gotta breathe. In times like these, in this economy, you gotta just deep breaths. Deep breath. In. Out. No sudden movement. Everything will be all right. Things, things could technically be worse. You could be falling, but you're not. It's, <laughs> I'm just, just a vague. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's probably not even that. It's probably not even that steep. Anyway, call me. I'm I'm playing this like the the natural optimist that I am. It's just a gentle incline. Just you know, just a little, just a nice, nice and nice and smooth, nice little ramp. I'll uh, I'll drift down. Like the dainty feather that I am. Yes. Dancing in the breeze. All I've got to do is not panic and think as a feather. Yes. Just don't panic. Whatever you do, do not panic. Panic free zone over here, not allowed. <laughs> oh God. This is bad, isn't it? Like, actually bad. I'm sticking with this voice from here on out. So, terrible even, one might say. Excuse me, butterflies, could you hear? I'm gonna die before, I've, before I, I've even moved out. Have you not moved out of your parents' place? Is that not something that you've done? Before I opened the dog cafe. I'm sorry I never made you Wuffle House. Wuffle House is very good. Beagle Bagels, Coffee Pup. These are all S tier names. These are all fantastic. But unfortunately, Wuffle House just takes takes them all to shame. Um, what le what legacy am I, am I leaving behind? What even is a legacy? Uh, I don't know. There was a Bourne movie about a legacy, I think. Didn't have Jason Bourne, but... Alright, alright. Get it together. Legacies don't matter. Unimportant. Might as well enjoy my last moments. 
It's just me and you. And by you, I mean the car or the tree or the cliff. Um, name the car. <laughs> Carlos. Obviously, obviously, Carlos. Obviously. To the bitter end, Carlos. You rusty death machine. Or the salty end. Well, they're both bitter. It's not that bad. It's not. We can get you. Hey, you squirrel. Squirrel. Every day I wake up. Stretch my neck. Except you can't really stretch your neck. Because that's moving. And that'll set things off. Inhale the salty sea air. Think about life. You know, as one does. I've got, like, most of a toothpaste tube. I could live like a king. I'm set to live in my car on the edge of a, of a cliff. This is quite nice. I've become a master of meditation. Yes. A transcendent being of the utmost purity. Mm. I'll use my powers of enlightenment carefully and from this warm, sweet spot. But that'll be enough. Mm. Will it? Will that be enough? Is that going to be enough? And then I'll die. Well, I guess now you get to decide when that happens. You know, just a quick, like, lean forward and, and Bob's your uncle. You know. You know? You don't need to leave it up to fate. Dead and buried at the bottom of the sea. Yeah. With nothing but a failed life and a wet car to leave behind. Well, theoretically, the wet car might not even get found. Because it would also be under the water. There's a chance it could get washed up, but... Eh, not the greatest odds. Great. Alright, girl. It's time to take action. I rule my own destiny. I am my future queen. Uh, let's try the radio. Mm. Alright, let's change the station. Let's try uh, not enough of that. Enough of that. Well, that was that was worth a worth a go, worth an attempt. Let's try the ignition now. What's gonna happen? Oh dear. This doesn't seem good. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Damn it. Don't do this to me now. I can't afford to wait all night this time. I mean, I feel like you've got bigger fish to fry at this point. If you move yourself backward, like to the back of the car, would you be able to get out the back door? Does, is this a two, is this a four door car? It might not be. It might not be. It might be screwed here. Oh, hello. 
Oh dear. Oh, why is it getting windy? Why with the wind? Hey! <coughs> Excuse me. Great, I was just thinking we needed a windstorm. Take pity on me, nature. Man. I feel like if it were gonna happen, it would happen by now. This isn't pity, this is worse. Oh dear, oh no, no, no. No, thank you. Is this... Is this how I die? Is this me? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, did, oh God. Uh, ah! Wait. Am I about to... Is it... What's gonna happen? Crap! What, can I, can I do anything? No. No, false alarm. Nothing happened. No. Oh, I don't like the leaning. Don't like the leaning at all. Holy God. I thought that was it. The end. I'm so, I'm so useless. I'm just stuck here waiting for the next slap from nature, aren't I? This this person does is starting to remind me quite a bit of uh of uh Arthur Dent. Like, is that it? It's not just because I'm using what's pretty much his voice. An engine failure. A passing breeze. It's not quite the same. That's it. But uh, it is quite similar. Everything. Everything. Just. Done. Over. I don't know. Maybe this is fine. Maybe this is just. What the end? It's gonna end at some point, right? I'm just skipping the boring bit. That's a little... I mean, it's not all boring. Probably. They're really, like, milk in this moment for all it's worth, aren't they? I mean, I suppose this is what the game is, so... Oh! Hello? Hello? Forest friend? Hello? Good. Everyone be quiet. Every, everyone. Sweet Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, caribou are big. And little champion of the woods. He could throw me off this cliff in a heartbeat. Pray don't frown me, answered wood boy. I'm not but a lonely soul. Ahem. <laughs> can you hear me? Can, can it? I think it can. Maybe not. I'll take that as a no. Unless he's ignoring me. Which is also... <laughs> Are you ignoring me? Excuse me. Oh, maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore. He moved. Nice. Love this. Bruh. Hello. How do? Ah. Uh, 
หัวหายอ What are you looking at, dear? Do you see something? Or are you just being wistful? That's cool with me. Honestly, fine. I understand. Oh, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Or, what's the plan? No, 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 no. Dear friend, hello. Could you, could, what, what do you want? What can I do for you, dude, bruh? Be careful, please. What are you gonna do? What's the plan? What? Can can you help me? Do you even understand what I'm saying? Do you even understand words? I'll be impressed if you can't. Oh, perhaps. What? Is what? Ha? Huh? What? Did the... Hmm. Did you just talk? There are none happiest in this world but those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. I think I need a check a check up from the neck up. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So, can you hear me? Hmm. Hmm. What? I can. Holy God! This can't be real. Can it not? Well, I don't know, to be honest. It feels pretty real. Who decides what is real and what is not? Well, I guess, I guess, I guess it's subjective, I suppose. It is a matter of truth. Yeah, that's it. Truth. Um, okay, I know. Quick, tell the truth. Uh, okay. All right, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be a test for. The ocean stretches unfathomably before us, and in it lies mystery and truth. Bloody hell. Was that the truth? It felt too poetic. It is as true as I know truth to be. Well, all right. I don't think I feel any more relieved about this. If you decide this is real, it is so. How can I just decide on reality? Does it matter? I don't know. Wait, what was it you said before? There are none happiest in this world. But those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. I... I don't think this qualifies for freedom or happiness. Your soul is free to follow the flow of the ocean's tide. Free! My car is balancing on a cliff face. And your soul is not attached to it. It feels pretty stuck in there. And pretty soon it's going to feel stuck in the ocean. So, ocean, splash, not free, dead. You seem to still be clutching on to me. Only just, just a little bit. If you are alive, that is enough. That is all. Alive or expired. Well, then I'm in limbo. Well, not technically. At the moment, you're still alive. You are still... Is this how you envision limbo? 
To be honest, kind of, yeah. I suppose in time, all becomes clear. You really are an unrelenting fountain of encouragement. Thank you. Above all else, we have hope. What the heck am I supposed to be helpful for now? Hmm. Getting out of your current situation. Right, and how is that going to happen? How exactly is that supposed to happen here? Assuming that is your ambition. The hanging off a cliff situation? It is a situation with a conclusion. The conclusion is not out of your control. Can I ask you something? Potentially. Am I hallucinating? That is not for me to say. Or no. Well, are you real? As far as I can tell. Perhaps you are a hallucination of mine. Who can say? You were not helping, buddy boy. How close to the edge am I? I wateringly so. Do I want to know what's at the bottom? Nothing out of the ordinary. Rocks. Water. Waves. I love all of those things. Great. Fantastic, in fact. Try to calm yourself. What? No, I would immediately start hyper hyperventilating. I would immediately... Yeah. First, take a moment. Close your eyes. Oh, we got the slow zoom coming in here. They pull in the slow zoom and the aspect ratio. Oh, God. What's going to happen? Inhale deeply. Okay, we actually closed our eyes. Interesting. Okay. Count backwards from five. Four, three, two, one. At zero, exhale. Zero. Cool. I'm not sure if that helped. Where are we at? What's the situation? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. That did help. Wonderful. You can gain clarity and perspective when you slow your thoughts to a glacial pace. Now, what are you going to do? Somehow drive back to safety? I guess. If we can just get this... Have you tried? No. I'll do it now. I already... Well, let's try reversing, just in case. I don't know. <laughs> Worth a try. Yeah, no. Okay, bad idea. That did not sound quite like the correct noise. 
It was absolutely the incorrect noise. What is the problem? The engine is dead. So you are trapped in that contraption. Um, this contraption, yeah, it does this. Perhaps not wise to coast so close to the coast. Thanks for the timely advice. Thank you so much. It is the least I can do. You could... Literally. It is literally the least bit. Disregarding your quandary circumstance, how can you remedy it? Cool down the engine. And that might take how long? Oh, you know, the entire night. A night is a long time to wait when you stare death in the eye. A very comforting! Perhaps you should explore other avenues of escape. Like what? Have you considered... Getting out? No way. Well, no. A viable option. Easy for you to say you're on the right side of misfortune. You are not a world away. Alright, well, I guess it's worth a shot. I guess we're stepping out and see how this goes. See how this freaking goes. How's this gonna go? Are we gonna die? Oh. Nope. Looks like we're here for the ro for the long run. Okay, I guess we're just hanging out. I guess this is just where we are. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Works for me. Neat. Is this just where it ends? Are we just stuck in our car for all eternity? Is that just how it goes? What? What's, what's gonna happen? We're just stuck here, like, talking to a caribou or a deer, whatever it is. This is very nice. This is a good look. This is a very good look for a game. I will say that. But, uh, where are you going with this? Oh, we're back here. What you doing there, friend? So... You're out here all by yourself? All alone? I am solitary in four. No little antlered friends? No. Just you? Just I. Nobody else? Nobody else. Why? Why not? Well, do you not get lonely out here by yourself? Is that not a question you should be asking yourself? Okay, all right. You too sought solitude in these cliffs. Not forever, though. Then for how long? Just as long as it took. Before what? I don't really feel like talking about it. And anyway, I totally asked you. 
If I am lonely? Ah, I am no more lonely than a single dandelion standing in the field, than a drop of rain falling from a cloud, than this world. Okay. A bead of blue melting in time. Do you ever answer questions in a normal way? I only answer I only answer questions in a normal way. Do you? Ah, okay. Let's practice. Practice? You ask me and I'll answer normally. As you like. Do you get lonely out here? Yes, thanks for asking, girl. I haven't had a decent convo in decades. I'm so glad you and that handsome car rode up here to brighten my day. Some sweet companions to accompany these lonely antlers. See, how was that? Convo. I may have gotten gone a bit too teen. An interesting angle. I think perhaps my meaning was lost in translation, however. What was your meaning? The point was that I am no more lonely than the single dandelion in the field. A solitary, alone, lonely dandelion. The dandelion in the field does not feel lonely, for it is part of the field. But it's all alone. Alone and lonely are quite different. Ha! I, I very much feel this. I seek this solitude like the sun seeks the horizon. My infatuation with the forms of the world compels me to it. I don't know, I... I see the attraction. Like some of that time with nature. There's definitely something to being distraction-free for a while. I just don't think I could do it forever. Remember, I am not alone. I am bathed in gold and green. You sure are. I am with nature. But it's not a tangible thing. You're still technically on your own. Ah, but you see. No, I don't. What, what, what am I supposed to be seeing? What, am I, what, should, I, what should I be looking at? And we're doing the zoom again. Are we, are we about to start monologuing? Anything? Something? Literally, literally, okay. On endless days, I find myself beside the sea. While ocean tides lays across the shore. The waves take hold of my soul. And the world drifts away to a daze. That's a pretty cool gig. That's a pretty nice way of, be way of being. In these quiet moments. Is not the sea a part of me, and my soul as I of, of it? Our souls are as one, I have never been less alone. Now, that last part didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I think I'm catching the gist here. I think I'm getting it. Hmm. 
Hmm. And we're zooming right back out. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Especially since this game is taking its sweet time, which I guess is the part of the point. But... Our talking normally didn't work out, did it? What? I will leave that to you. Probably a good idea. Agreed. For real though, I kind of see where you're coming from. Conceptually. Out here, you can feel connected to everything. And you remember you exist. I think that's what I want. I'll try. Nice. That's all you gotta do. Has your mind changed its course yet? Do you wish to confer why you came here? Well, okay, I'll, in I'll divulge. So, background check. Yes. I was studying. Study of what? Uh, film. Sure, let's go with film. I want to do direct. And there your heart lies. I thought so. Well, I've just always loved the idea of it. Being an eyeball. A prison. It's so dreamy capturing that little fragment of time. But like, just how I see it. However obscured or bizarre that is. It's a totally skewed way of showing your perspective of the world. The ambition to capture the moment. Yeah. Huh. So, when I was a youngster, we would make these home videos. Excuse me. Me, my brother, and my dad. We had this weird towel room upstairs in our house. Just the room where the towels go. You know, everyone knows about their towel room. Anyway, right at the back there was this heating box thing with two beady little red lights on it. They were, without question, demon eyes. It used to freak me and my brother out until my dad gave us this giant video camera. So at night, we would creep up the stairs, videoing our escapade. My dad would pretend we were these muscle-bound demon hunters, and he was our number one fan. This is adorable. This is so wholesome and precious. We made these totally amazing films, so over the top and dumb of us just ascending the stairs. Up to the demon lair. When we get to the top, my dad would run in before us, screaming. And the towel demon would claim his life. Me and my brother would be all dramatic and charge in to avenge his death with an onslaught of hand towels. We'd all sit around and try to cut together this grandiose movie of our brave attack. It was the greatest. That sounds pretty good. 
basically since then, those memories have stayed with me, and I've loved making videos. Me too, quite frankly. And so your heart is bound to capturing the moments of life. I don't know. I thought so. Not anymore. Well, I was studying filmmaking. Prior to now? Yes, prior to now. Until... Um, until... I left university. Abandoned my prospects of a good old life. <laughs> what led you to leave? I don't know, I just didn't feel like I could do it. Like, I'd waited for such a long time. And when it came, it was so overwhelming. It wasn't what I'd imagined. And I didn't feel like I could do it anymore. Maybe I'm not creative enough. What if you never went? What difference would it make? What else am I gonna do? You would figure it out. How? Whatever you are meant to do would make itself clear. Fall off this cliff? Perhaps that is it. Why not make this meaningful? I can't just decide to give things meaning. Surely that is all you can do. Then everything is meaningless. It only means nothing if you deem it so. So it all meant me dying in a car. It all meant something. But for now, perhaps it means watching the sunset on the edge of a cliff. Why did you come here? To see the waves and hope my life becomes clear. I thought if I looked out, I'd feel like everything matters. And does it? I don't know. It does not always work that way. I find some of the most important realizations come not in the moment, but after. In normality. When your mind wanders back to this place, then perhaps you will find clarity in clouded times. Well, if the engine eventually works, maybe I'll find out. Precisely. Life is not over. I suppose... We still have each other, right? That is enough. That is enough as in shut up, or that is enough as in we complete each other? That is enough. You're difficult. But I like you. And I, you. You're sweet. Hmm. Where were we? Ah, uh, life. Life. Are you ready to bear witness to life's conclusion? Who is to say it concludes? You mean the afterlife? A new beginning, perhaps. It's the beginning of being dead. Which isn't much of a start. It could be. Oh, hello, Agent 107. Hello, Joey. Hello, friend. I'm playing an artsy-fartsy video game. We're talking about life and death. I'm trapped in a car on a cliff talking to a deer. It's all good stuff. Who's to say? Who indeed? You? Are you like the angel of death or something? Hello, Lady Rosia. Great to see you. What do you think? 
I don't know what to think anymore. You're battling, dear. Are you an angel? <laughs> of course I am, girl. Look at me. Why did you choose this place? Hidden away, lost in space. We used to come out here when I was a kid. I always loved the cliffs. I could count how many faces I could see in the rocks. Mostly dog faces. Little rock pops. We actually had to stop coming out this far for a while. Because I would get too sad that the puppies I could see were trapped forever. Hmm, that is reasonable. That makes sense. And I'd never rescued them. I think my dad was worried I was going to jump over after them. He was right to be afraid. Well, we certainly are here. So... I kind of just wanted to see if I could still spot them. Memories can house great comforts. Sure can. Have you seen them? I don't really want to look. To be honest, circumstances aside, just being here is enough. Nice. Did I get the correct answer or something? Why are you standing and looking at me? What's the deal? Are you gonna go somewhere? Are you gonna help me out with my car? Are you gonna hold it down so that I can actually get out of my car? Are you gonna leave? What is it? A traveler approaches. What? Where? Yeah, where? But what are we talking about? It came from the rocks and the flowers. I didn't see anything. Is it these little yellow glowy things? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, it's a oh, it's a turtle. Hey, I see it. A little turtle guy. Hello, are you a giraffe? Welcome. I can't tell if it's a moving rock or a turtle. It's definitely a turtle. It's definitely a turtle. I believe... It is a tortoise. Close enough. God, it makes me all shivery just looking at it. They are neat. I like tortoises and turtles. So little scheming eyes. Wait, does this person not like turtles? Black hollow. I do not need this turtle slander. They're hiding something. No, they're hiding in something. All of them. I'm on to you, tortoise. Tortoise. Why do you hate the tortoise? Yeah, why? I'd, I'd like to know this as well. I hate my reasons. It means no harm. Look at it. You haven't seen them like I have. They're vicious. Vicious? Vicious! I was traumatized as a child, alright. Are oh, you doing a watch party right now? Nice. Good to know. I might check it out in a, mo in a few minutes here, depending on whether I'm able to finish this. Get out of the car. I sure wish I could. Uh, but the... I don't think it has... I think it's a two-door car. So, yeah. Different entirely. You know what their mouth is called. I will have fun with the deer and the rock. A beak! When I was like nine... 
My brother's friend brought his fun new pet round to our house. A fun little baby turtle. How fun. Imagine my delighted anticipation. Until I see it. Snarling, beak snapping open and closed like garden shears. So they force me to grab hold of its spiny house. Its long snake neck wriggles out and twists round. And it bites me. There and then, right on the arm. I had to go to the hospital. I had to go to hospital. And it was a baby. Imagine what it could do now. It could slice my arm and clean off. They don't get that big. I mean, most, most of them don't get that big. This little one does not look like it knows violence. How can you say that? Look at it. I am looking at it. They're masters of illusion. Cuteness is a veil. Okay, freaking edge lord over here. Oh, it's a frog. I like frogs. Frogs and tortoises. Okay, look, frog friend. Oh good, I like I'm glad we like frogs. Frogs are good. Frogs and tortoises are good. Secret a secret meeting. Not very secret, guys. We can see you. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. The frog's on the tortoise. Oh, that's nuts. What? I think I'm gonna just travel away as a couple of cards. It's like a little turtle taxi. Tortoise taxi, actually. Nice. I wonder where they're going. The night's greatest mystery. Maybe they're like buddies or something and they just hang out. I would like to believe so. Okay, Tert. You've won me over. Maybe we could be friends. I would like to believe so. Okay, we're... Uh... Is it dark or is the shadow of death finally upon me? Why not both? Could be both. Death's silhouette stretches to this edge to consume us. Oh, why must you puncture my soul? Cruel twisted claw of mortality. Not but meager puppets are we in this cowled scoundrel's insidious waltz. Helpless fools, pray thee and spare me this pitiful dance. It is simply dark. I was getting into that. That was good, though. That was a good little bit that we just had. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at the stars. I don't re even remember the last time I saw this many. Mm. Thank you for the pan. Thanks for the nice, quick, little camera pan. Like it. That's nice. It's a nice touch. You never see the stars? Where I live, you're lucky in th if you see the moon. That must be isolating. They mean something when I do see them, at least. In days of absence, I will long for a night sky. Don't you ever find it a bit overwhelming? Overwhelming? Just looking at all the everythings. 
Also, what are these little yellow flighty, floaty things? Are these, like, just little, little fireflies? Billions of light beams glaring straight into my soul. Ah, but the stars are here with us, you see. They share the night with us. But why bother? Why should it mean anything? They're too far away to matter. Distance is nothing. They are as much with us as I with you. Think. Does anything offer this same tranquility? Nothing lulls the soul lost in reverie as the stars. You had some good lines here, dear. Here's some, here's some good zingers. Shards of glitter and glass suspended over us. Yeah, they are beautiful. Just isolating. Try this. Focus your gaze on a single star. How am I supposed to choose? Choose the brightest. Okay, let's focus. Focus on a star, but we're running out of time here. Okay, got one. Consider the journey that lone flicker of light has roamed. A strand of silver weaves its way across a galaxy, streaming through celestial clouds, across the backs of shimmering worlds, a lone light finally finds itself here. Now multiply that by a billion, there's my problem. I just can't fathom things too infinite. It's painful. The beauty of the night is its ability to levitate you, weightless one moment, and swallow you the next. Oddly enough, it is actually nice being out here. Quite the night. I'll give it that. used to come out here and make up constellations when we were younger. Constellations? You know, stories in the stars. Stories in the stars? Say what? Okay, so there's a ton of real constellations. Dreamed up by a bunch of skeletons. But they're boring. I see... Their stories told in pictures dotted in the stars. Ah, tales of adventures and philosophers mapped out in the sky. Pretty much. Look, I'll find one of our reinventions. Obviously, there's Avery, the Queen of Steel. Quite the title. Avery was a powerful and beautiful woman. Oh, nice, there she is. She was bigger than a boulder with a gaze of pure steel. With her steely vision, she could transform anything she wished into pure glistening steel. Impressive. Yep. However, all was not well. It was not. Despite how tirelessly the people worshipped her. Or her beauty. She just wanted to be left alone. Why? 
They just didn't vibe with her. I can understand that. So, in an effort to hide away from her raging fandom, she turned an entire forest to steel and took refuge within. Also, a leopard. Called Neptune. After many blissful months of peace, despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, her followers found her and began throwing themselves once more at her steel clad feet. Praise the Steel Queen, they would chat. One night, when the stars were glistening brightly across Neptune's back, the Steel Queen decided to end the parade. I'm going to end the stream here for now. Because this is long. I've already, like, this is going to be a long video. So, good lord. Um. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to end it here because my voice is getting sore. Uh, and it's also almost 9.30. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably get back to this, um, in the next Artsy Fartsy stream. Uh, but, yeah, I really like this. I like me having, I like a little philosophical conversation. I like that, I like the fact that they're working some humor into there. It's, it's a nice touch. It's a good feel. Uh, good vibes all around. So, if you've been watching live or on the VOD, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to uh, follow, I'd love it if you did that. Uh, if you've already done that if you, and you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Head over to Twitch and do stuff there if you want. Uh, if you want to get merch, we got merch at streamlabs.com slash And yeah. Thanks so much. We'll see you later.